Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver, and welcome back to Alt-Tabbing to make sure that the fan setting is quiet. So here's the thing, it says that it's quiet, but I'm gonna toggle it between normal and quiet. You wanna know why? Because I don't believe it. I don't believe for five seconds that this thing has the proper settings on. And I'm gonna schmoove it back a little bit. I'm gonna take the laptop and I'm gonna push it as far away from the microphone as I possibly can because this is for YouTube, right? Like, I don't normally care about the fan noises because admittedly, I'm not trying to listen to music on this thing, but the fans are loud, man. The fans are loud, brother. But uh, yeah, so anyways, we played Moriko last time, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we, we've done, um, but let's try to do Kyrie. Kyrie with the, uh, the monkey wrench. That, that sounds, that sounds relatively interesting to me. So, I've been, uh, I've been watching more of those brain rot detective shows, and I think I mentioned Stone Cold Jesse already, because I found it very entertaining, because it was basically like, you know, we have the little inside joke, Jesse, we have to cook Jesse! Oh no, Mr. Wit, I don't wanna cook, I, I don't wanna... Jesse, would you throw away the only thing you've ever been good at in your life, Jesser? Um, but anyways, uh, so I really like it, and it's really funny, because I can basically just fall back on that at pretty much any time. Uh, as, like, because all the characters call a guy Jesse, and it's really weird, because every female character who is an adult wants to sleep with Jesse, and every other female character who doesn't qualify for that wants to be Jesse's friend. It's very strange. It, it really is. The The only female character who didn't want to be Jesse's friend is, was, was the episode's murderer. The episode's killer. So anyways, knowledge, dexterity, charisma. Uh, second mystery. Uh, knowledge, already done. Dexterity, very easy. Charisma's one level up away. Uh, so really, we basically just got to get like one and a half level ups and we'll be happy. But uh, the, uh, the other detective show, and both of these are on the USA channel, by the way, so I can't say, haha, wacky British TV. No, th this is the United States' fault. Um, the next one that I watched was absolutely amazing. It was called Columbo. It was called Columbo. Um, and I don't know how I can describe Columbo. Imagine a somehow competent but bumbling detective who's sort of like that goofy, wacky, like, oh, that Columbo, uh, but in, like, a super serious, like, murder mystery drama where people are getting, like, they're, they're, they're getting just absolutely murdered. Uh, not necessarily brutally, like, just gunshot wounds and stuff like that, but, you know, it, it, it's actually pretty great because your first impression of Columbo, if you've never watched an episode before, is this guy's an idiot, right? Like, he's just this bumbling, like, he's just this bumbling cop. Or, well, technically he's an investigator, but you know what I mean. And so he's just kind of, like, bumbling around all over the place, and you're thinking to yourself, yeah, this, this, guy's, this, this guy's stupid. And then, you know, he actually, like, does quite a bit of clever things, well, also, like, here's the thing. The show isn't that clever, or at least the episode that I watched wasn't, because it was literally a woman who killed somebody and then wanted to be caught. So she went up to Columbo and then basically just started saying, you think I killed him? You think I killed him? You think I killed him? And Columbo, to her face, was like, no, I don't think you killed him. But then when Columbo turned around to talk to the officers, he was like, yeah, I think she killed him. We just got to find the evidence. Um, so it, it's just, it's silly, right? Like, it's very silly. And also the name Columbo is great. But then there's that sort of like, uh, we got the bad guy at the end. And it's really good. Like, it, it's a, it's really good. It, it makes the, um, the happy chemicals in the brain go off, which is... Uh, you, you can now say that I've got Columbo brain rot, which is quite frightening. I, I still think, by far and large, the best murder mystery show I've seen so far is absolutely, and this shouldn't be a surprise, 
is absolutely Midsummer Murders. Like, Midsummer Murders, even the kind of, like, like, even the earlier seasons, which are kind of, like, I'm not going to say stinky, but are kind of weird. Like, some of the or like some of the earlier episodes because they've been doing reruns of like the first series and some of the uh like older new series because there's two barnabys right like my favorite is it's tom barnaby right like the second i, I like the second barnaby the best um but the old the old barnaby is okay all right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that the the old Barnaby is bad. I like the old Barnaby. I, I think that new Barnaby generally has well, new Barnaby has a lot of sidekicks. Like at first, I thought it was just the one guy, but they're cycling. They're cycling. Cycling? Uh, I can't speak. You know, sometimes there's just that one word that you just can't say no matter how hard you try. But they're cycling. The. Uh, the, the lads out pretty quickly, right? It's like every new season, there's a new one. And sometimes one of them will come back for like a special episode or something, and that's pretty fun. But nah, 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 like... They've been introducing a bunch of them. Like, I think uh, as, like, as far as I've gotten into the series, they just introduced Winters. But I think we already got to the end of, like, Winters. Like, I don't know if Winters is still the sidekick or not. They might He might get a new one. But uh, I, I did like the episode where, is it Jones? Like the, the old guy, Jones comes back and he's helping them out with the, is it, is it baseball? It's a baseball. No, it, it's not baseball, right? It's like cricket? Is it rugby? I mean, that's not cricket. Uh, I, I heard that in a game show the other day. That's not cricket being a catchphrase. By the way, catchphrase is stupid. <laughs> I that is British TV and I can tell you that that is stupid um, it's basically um, y y you see it you say it and sometimes they're just so weird like I, I, I don't even think that I can accurately describe to you uh, what catchphrases is like in the same manner that Kyrie can't accurately uh, navigate this monkey wrench to the aspiring model's face. Uh, really, a shame, really, honestly. Uh, so we're we're gonna we're gonna eat it pretty hard here. So what we're gonna have to do? That I mean that doesn't even get us there, right? Because that's that's just twelve. So we we can't kill, which is um, bad. I don't think we can't. At least no, we can do twelve. We can do twelve two ways. So I think what we did, we got to brace for impact and then hope the kick lands, which is a 90% chance. Like, this is rotten. But it, you, you got to do what you got to do, really. And then we got to take a big chance, unless we want to take three again. Because we could do 99, uh, that's 70-70, actually. Uh, and so we'd have to kick again. So this is like one of the shortcomings of the monkey wrench and this is like a, a very specific scenario let's, let's just take the chance man let's just do it two coin flips you feeling lucky punk you feeling lucky punk she's not feeling lucky that's one of the disadvantages of the monkey wrench is you do just kind of have to yolo it at some point but here's the thing if you make that check and you get really lucky, this is bad though. Like saying yes is like minus two reason plus 10% doom. I mean, admittedly that was worth it. <laughs> well, plus 15% doom. Maybe that's a uh, that's debatable actually. 33% doom right off the bat, but if we had the monument, I'd say it's worth it. I don't I don't think we can make these kinds of plays when we've got uh when we've got no monument in play, right? Like, we can't back ourselves up here. So I think that we did make a mistake. Like, normally when you see that, if you've got plenty of health and you can go ahead and do that, it's like, yeah, go for it, man. But when you have something like this, you, you really don't. Um, now, so here's the thing. Like, this weapon is still incredibly fast because we have four strength, which means we're only getting, what, a 12 time discount? Which is really nice. Uh, so, 
I, I can't really get mad at that. And we can even attack while we brace for impact, which admittedly that might be worth it in itself. So we'll go ahead and do that, which it's a coin. We take one damage and we go through a coin flip. Um, and then what? You want to do 70% uh, chance times one? Or alternatively, do you want to do two 80% chances? I'm going to be real with you. I want the I want the 70% chance. I like just one dice roll, and then we, we eat it, and then we... That's... Um, uh, a little bit fascinating. I, I don't recall that happening originally, um, to be on the lookout for that, but I suppose there are enemies that do that for sure. Um, huh. Fascinating. So we're gonna try that again. Uh, we see the disadvantages of the monkey wrench on someone like Kyrie very clearly, because even though the weapon has an insanely good attack speed, she's still got, um, whatchamacallit. We're gonna do Seventh Curse, actually. I wanna do Seventh Curse. That sounds fun. Uh, and also, it'll just let me buy the weapon, no fuss. <laughs> okay, well, so we've automatically won the game. This, this is the, the, the I, I, listen, man, if you want an actual run here, we gotta forget both of these right now. Like, this is just ridiculous. I mean, we literally have unlimited healing and we can kill every enemy in the game in one turn. Like, if something truly evil didn't automatically heal itself at half health, we'd be able to kill something truly evil easily, effortlessly. We, we, we can literally win every single fight in the game. Like, complete, like, effortlessly. I actually don't know if it would... Does it work against Oteru? I, I, we'll check the mysteries first, because I think that would be, like, worth it. Like, if we could check to see if this combo works against Oteru. Because I know we can use the bite action against Oteru. But I don't... Whoops. You know, sometimes you, you click in the wrong order. Uh, sometimes you do that. So if there is an Oteru, we'll keep the spells to, che to check that. Uh, otherwise, we will um, not... Well, let's just forget the spells, all right? Like, let, let's just get rid of these. That is, for those of you who don't know, Flesh Regrowth is a spell that does not work properly. It says that it gives you, like, plus two stamina, or it gives you plus three stamina, minus two max stamina. That is true, but here's the thing. You can cast the spell multiple times, and the minus max stamina doesn't stack. And here's the thing, it doesn't even apply minus two max stamina. It just won't heal you over 11 on Harbinger. I don't know how it works on Cultist or above, right? Where you have like 17 and 21 health. I, so, you know, it just will take you to stamina 11, and then you can still heal yourself with other sources. But here's the thing. It's reusable, and it doesn't hurt you. It just won't heal you above 11. So there, there's literally, like, no... So second enemy, that's the only thing I gotta remember. Second enemy, knowledge, charisma... All right, second enemy, keep that in mind. That'll be on the test later. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just, like... It, it literally is an unlimited heal for no consequence. Like, the only consequence you'd ever have is if you have Cursed Signs specifically. Ath Yelazaf does nothing. Uh, only Cursed Signs, or I suppose Broken Jaw. That would prevent you from casting spells, but... Broken Jaw is a minor injury, so really the only... Or is it a major injury? I can't remember. But it's one to two funds, right? Who cares? That's easy. Uh, Cursed Signs is the only thing that would permanently give you a debuff for, like, a penalty for casting those spells, so. Now, Multiply Wound, on the other hand, and I just bumped the microphone stand, I do apologize for that, but, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the, the Multiply Wound, uh, what that does is, and this is true, it allows you to deal damage and lose stamina. And you can also cast that infinitely as well. So you can see where this is going, right? I hope you, I hope you can. Because I, I hope you can. Because it is pretty obvious. You have unlimited stamina generation, and then you have an attack that does stamina damage. 
or you have an attack that does stamina damage to you. So you have in you have unlimited healing and unlimited damage source. So yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. Like I'll, I'll be I'll be real with you. That's what we call pretty strong. So um yeah, sure, why not? Shouldn't have done that. Every time, man, every time. I'm like, eight knowledge, we got this. Nah, nah, man, we don't got this. We're, we just keep taking L's in the Doom Department. I, I do apologize for that. But there's not really anything that I can do about it, so why am I apologizing? There, there's lit. It, it's just a dice roll. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I expect something more from the spooky Kyrie ghost, but... Uh... Uh, maybe, may, maybe not. You know, she's got stats. She rolls the dice, and sometimes the dice fail. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we'll get reason here, right? Oh, whoops. We have the penalty increased. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. But yeah, b besides watching absolutely garbage UK TV, uh, I had something pretty, well... I was tempted by by the uh, the demons of the warp, if you will, the, the chaos demons. And what I mean by that is that whenever you buy like an order at Games Workshop over 50, um, well in this case it, it would be pounds, quid, GBP, because I am in the UK currently. Um, whenever you, whenever you do something like that, right? Am I, am I feeling lucky? 80% chance to hit times two? Yeah, sure, let's go. Pain. Um, so whenever you, whenever you buy like 50 pounds, right? They give you a, a $5 voucher. And I've done this before, right? Like, I, I've bought GW stuff before, and they give you, like, you know, they, they do actually just give you, like, a five-pound voucher, right? But what they did this time is they took the five-pound voucher that I was supposed to get. And don't tell GW, all right? Don't, don't tell them. Um, they, instead of giving me a five-pound voucher... They gave me a 25 pound voucher. And so, I was thinking to myself, I don't really want to buy, you know, Games Workshop stuff right now. Because they're doing that weird anti fan thing, and I don't really want to support that. But then, I've said this before, I've been working on a Grey Knight's army, and I already have all the models, right? I'm just building it and painting it right now. Um, and so, the Grey Knight's got a new codex. And so I was thinking to myself, well, when the price is right, and so I grabbed the codex, and uh, yeah, that's that's the story. I, I got the codex for, I mean, the codex is 30 pounds. I had a 25 pound voucher. You love to see it, right? So yeah, that, that that's about it, that's the story. That, that is indeed, that's it. That's that's the story. You, you've got it. That's the anecdote. The anecdote is over now. Uh, so anyways, let's uh, let's forget some spells. And by spells, I mean spell. Just, just the one. And we can bottle only one. See, Kyrie's polite. She does not bottle more water than what she's supposed to use, because we're... We're in summer right now. You're supposed to cut down on your water usage, right? So that's a uh, good Samaritan, good Samaritan. And you know, I'm sorry, that's heresy. We're in the em we're in the endless winter. I, I do recognize that. But uh, anyway, second uh, it was second enemy, right? So whoever's next after this is who we should we should go fight. And just to make sure it was dexterity, right? I'm not crazy. Oh no, it was charisma. <laughs> no, I made a mistake. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a lot of dexterity checks in the ocean and maybe that could help us out. Probably not, but maybe. And if it does, I will feel vindicated.
But let's just stick with uh, what it is that we we do. We had all su we had all of the endless summer to figure it out. So we only need one bottle because I highly doubt we'd go into two uh, bottle of sludge events back to back. It's possible to get two in one run. We we've had repeat events before, and it is possible to get two events very close to each other. But I have a feeling that if we were to get, like, we have to go to the school uh, two more times? I know we have Akamanto, but the other one's mermaids, right? So we, we do have to go to the school twice, like two more times, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we have Akamanto and mermaids. I, I like, 99% sure we have mermaids. So there, there's a possibility if we get super lucky, there's two bottle of sludges waiting for us. Which would be rather nice, honestly. So, let, let me ask you a question. Didn't we level up strength? Why do we have four? Oh, no, we took stamina. That's, that's right, that's right, that's right. I was about to say, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, so it's, it's two 70% chances. I don't really like this, but, you know, it's... It's it, it, it's what we do, and uh, yeah, we we did it. So we're we're concerned. We're mildly, mildly speaking, we're mildly concerned. So it's a clap and a bow. Oh no! So bloated teacher is the first one. Let's make that clear. But uh, secondly, uh, she's dead. I don't even have to think about that. Like I just I I just know she's she's gone. She's done and or dusted, but not of the seeing variety. Let me be clear about that. So we are... This is perform the ritual, right? I can't hear if she's, like, banging on the wind. Oh, yeah, she is. I saw the screen vibration right there. If there was one more event, what we'd do is we'd swap our bottle of sludge out for the empty bottle. So that we would be able to basically just be like, hey, what's up? So it's a clap and a bow, once again, just making sure I didn't forget. So clap, bow, and we'll just do three claps to, you know, make it, uh, you know, just keep the claps in line. I feel like clapping. Okay, it's a bow. It's clap. And it's a bow. So it's clap, bow, uh, we're dead. Okay, hold on, hold on. So it's clap, bow, bow, clap, bow. I'm not going to be able to remember that, but you have to because, again, it'll be on the test. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go get the empty bottle, obviously, and because we're going to die if we don't heal ourselves. And I would like to heal myself, uh, which is, you know, a nice thing to do, admittedly. It, it's nice to do a, <laughs> to do a little self-care as a treat. But, uh, all right, so what do we got? So we do have mermaids and we do have Akamanto. That's terrifying that we've got Akamanto and mermaids. At our current state, yes. If we could get to, you know, higher strength levels, we'd be we'd be happy with that. But until we can, uh, we're in, we're in a little bit of a sketchy spot. Uh, hmm. So yeah, I feel like ramen is probably probably the best bet. It's the fastest mystery, so if we wanted to get tireless, this is where we'd go. So yeah, I, I think that's probably fine. Are we gonna do the side quest? Absolutely not. Pretty much under no circumstance are we gonna do the side quest. Very lucky about the, um, whatchamacallit. We're gonna save the dust of seeing for Akamanto. I think I can guarantee you that. There might be some consideration. I, I I learned recently about mystery scaling and how it's like mystery five is like plus six HP plus one damage or something like that. But I feel like we need the accuracy and as many perks as, as we can get before we go to Akamanto. Uh, so this could be an easy, um, easy leadership charisma dub, but we're gonna go strength and charisma just because I want our base. I, I want strength to go as high as possible. I feel like that that is the strat. Now, with that being said, I here's the thing. I said we'd want tireless here, and I still do think that. But we are going to take a mystery, and we're going to rest like a couple times. Maybe even three times, because we're not on Goizo. Uh, well, scratch that for a moment. Uh, we have to get out of this first. So you love to see that. Uh, do this. 
and then uh, three, four, five, ninety-five percent chance. We, if it, if he wasn't a glitched enemy, we'd be able to guarantee both of these things. But since he cancels your fifth action past, like if he can't cancels anything past your fifth action, we we can't really do anything about it. But I'm wondering, man, like if we if we don't have fetid fumes, then maybe we should just take it and rest now. Because if we get fetid fumes after that, we're in really big trouble, right? So we're going to rest twice, which is a little bit of a bummer because that's going to make our doom go up there. But I think it's just necessary for the recovery process. We could have discarded a couple things here, and we probably would have been pretty happy with that extra 15 EXP, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. So contaminated water, a little bit of a bummer, but... Uh, Probably not that bad. So we can't heal ourselves, obviously. So we have to do... We'll do mermaids, take the burn, I think, and then go ahead. And what we'll do... We'll, we'll try to level up. Can we get to level 5 before Akamanto? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Whoop. There we go. My mouse was a little bit weird. It was tied up with something. I think it was tied up with the Ethernet cable, which admittedly doesn't really matter, but anyways, could this be the legendary uh, Check the Icy Coast? Because I don't remember... I, I don't want to die, because one of them is minus 5 stamina, and then I don't remember what the other one is, so we're just going to take plus 5% Doom, because I'm scared. I'll take the devil that I do know over the devil that I don't. Although, we're gonna have to get cursed one more time from the witch's tree, because I'm a little bit scared about it. But look at this, 70, we, I'm pretty sure, like, Doom's been skyrocketing. Like, we got 11% Doom within two checks, man. That's crazy. Like, I'm sorry to say, but I, I think that we have probably lost because of that. So, I mean, we have a 70% chance to hit, but we, we can't, we, we, we just can't, honestly. So what we gotta do is we, we gotta figure out what it is that we do here. We had all summer. I wanted to save the bottle of sludge for Akamanto, but we might have to use it on Stockchan of all things. Because I don't want to have to deal with... And we're gonna have to throw something else, just, just so you know. But we, we have to be able to get ourselves out of this fight. What do you mean I can't do... Uh... Wow, that's rough. Okay, so can we do that? No, we have to take a chance. After all that, we still have to take a chance. That's disgusting. Like, even though we hit that, that's still really gross. So school basement, this is it. This is the end of the mystery, right? Um, would we like to rest? Probably not. We'll do the tree. So we can actually nail two more things down, which is nice. Ah, it's because of the frostbite, right, right, right. Well, we'll get the frostbite taken care of after this. Like, I don't really care about it right now. Um, well, I mean, if we get into a fight again, ha ha ha, if we get into a fight again, it's a problem. But, uh, you know, it's not a problem if we're not in a fight. But what are, what are, what are the chances that we would, we would get into a fight right before the end of the mystery? Wow, I, I would never have guessed. So what we'll do is, um, well, I mean, we can't really take a beating here, can we? I, I think that b because we didn't go, I mean, this, this is rough, man. This is really rough. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a shame, really, but we, we gotta, we gotta take it. We, we gotta take it. We, we just gotta take the hit. That, that sucks, man. But, and then we have to take a, a, a chance. We have to take a 90 and an 80. Can you believe it? Oh my god. All right, so uh, here's the thing. The monkey wrench with five strength, totally doable. The frostbite is a secret killer in this situation, specifically when you're playing as Kyrie. I don't think any other character in the game is going to have this problem. So I would still say that, like, you know, the small candle, heavy bonk, steak knife are probably more reliable? Um, but the monkey wrench, like, we're trying to see how the monkey wrench works on everyone, because the monkey wrench has had really good success 
with every character we've used it on so far, except where it's not applicable, like, you know, Moriko, who just has the old shotgun, right? So who cares? I But here's the thing. I still think that, you know, if we didn't... Here's the thing. If we got Frostbite taken care of before we got into the fight, or if we didn't get into the fight at the end there, we probably would have won the game easily, right? Like, Frostbite putting us down to three strength, which... It, was what made us lose, right? Like, not being able to brace, not being able to play it safe, having to take these risks. The fact of the matter is, with five strength, even with four to some extent, Monkey Wrench is still completely usable. Like, the damage is just so good that, yeah, you have to take chances, but I, I feel like that if you're playing on something that isn't Harbinger of Doom, you don't really care about taking a chance that much. So, yeah, no, honestly, I'm still really impressed. Like, this is something where everything was sort of riding against the Monkey Wrench. Like, the lowest strength character in the game, except maybe minus Miku at the beginning. Uh, but No, Miku has five strength, right? Because it's like five, four, three, four, three, right? For, like, strength, dex, perception, knowledge, and uh, charisma. So... Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure Kyrie has, is, like, tied for, like, some of the lowest strength values in the game. And so the fact that she can use the weapon, like, decently well, like, you power level strength, you're, you're fine, right? Like, you, you, you don't get distracted, which, admittedly, it's a little bit worse for Harbinger of Doom, because you do have to take so much healing from external sources, but if you're playing on, like, True Believer, I think that the Monkey Wrench will work perfectly fine. So I think tomorrow what we'll do is Miku with the Monkey Wrench, because I, I want to try all of the characters with the Monkey Wrench. Maybe even someone like Mimi, and just sell the scalpel at the beginning so that we only have to get cursed once. That's actually an interesting idea. You sell the scalpel so you can afford something more expensive at the beginning, but I don't know. I, I think that... Like, the heavy bonk is still probably, like, statistically speaking, the most reliable weapon in the game, and will probably give you the best outcomes, because if you think about it, you can win Harbinger of Doom with a steak knife, right? Like, you need to be able to attack frequently and block. Like, that's pretty much the, the basics for winning Harbinger of Doom, is bracing for impact and attacking one to two times a turn. And so with a reliable accuracy, which is something that the Heavy Bonk, when leveling knowledge and strength, can give you. Uh, but with the Monkey Wrench, it's just, it's so fast, in combination with the fact that leveling strength makes both of those things faster, that I think it has potential to probably be the best weapon in the game. Uh, when it comes to, not necessarily, well, it's tough, right? Because you want to say something like the secret weapon that we don't talk about, or the katana are some of the best weapons in the game because of the absurd damage that they do. But the thing is, the monkey wrench just, it's so fast, right? Like, it's so fast, and strength is the best combat stat in the game for defensive purposes. And so a weapon, a strength weapon that's good is fantastic because it makes your brace better. So there's probably like some theory crafting you could do uh, to make it a lot more effective and a lot more efficient, but I, I think that what I, I think I'm happy with how the monkey wrench has been performing right now, and so I'm not particularly worried about min maxing it or anything like that because we're just testing the waters with different weapons. I think, and we did the hunting rifle a while back, and the hunting rifle was awful. So it's, it's a pleasant surprise to see something that's working relatively well, e even in failed runs, right? Like, we lost because of poor play on both of the runs. So, yeah, pretty much. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.